Buenos días, señorita. Buenos días, señor. ¿Cómo han estado? Ya nomás, qué rosa más linda. Pero solo está perteneciendo en el jardín que no pertenece. Sí, pero bellezas como esta pertenecen a todos. ¿Qué do you want? What do you have, señor? ¡Ándale, Juan! ¡Súbete! ¡Vámonos! ¡Vámonos! Señor, bájese, bájese. Ándale. What is this? My brothers, we were in mortal danger and we didn't even know it. Madre mía. What we have here? Pretty. Amigo, vámonos. Ándale, ándale. And what do you have to give, lovely senorita? Mi hermano, to look upon her as a gift itself. You are music for my lonely soul, senorita. I don't hear any music. That is easily remedied, senorita. Juan, the guitar. Sí, hombre, cómo no. Senorita. Come. little bird is frightened. I will not hurt you. Relax. Take what you want, let us go. That may take some time, senor. <laughs> Yes, sir. Like a room with a bath, please. Yes, sir. Got one just newly painted. Cost you uh, $3, though. Well, I guess a man ought to treat himself to the very best every now and then. Yes, sir. Uh, by the way, have the Mendoza brothers checked in yet? The Mendoza brothers? Uh-huh. They're supposed to meet me here. No, sir. 
Nobody by that name is registered at this hotel. You sure? Positive. Well, they'll be checking in a little later. When they do, let me know right away, will you please? Yes, sir. Are you dining alone, sir? Unfortunately. That's one of my tables. Looks just lovely. You better be careful, young lady. You're going to spoil me. I bet you're used to that. Now, let's see. What's exciting? Well, the pie roast is good, and there's a dance later. <laughs> well, now maybe I better try both, in that order. My name's Sally. Hello, Sally. Sue? Guess I have to start somewhere. Jared? Well, George Akers. I thought that was you. How are you? It's Bye. nice to see you. Sit down. Thank you. Uh, have you had dinner? No, I just finished, thanks. Oh. Well, how have you been? Splendid. You? Oh, can't complain, I guess. How's the law business here in Baker City? Oh, last week I defended a drunk who kicked a pig. <laughs> How'd you do? I got him a like sign. Told the judge my client thought the pig was a mad dog. <laughs> when did you arrive? Oh, a couple of hours ago. To see the Mendoza brothers? Well, yes, as a matter of fact. Do you know them? Oh, I just met them very briefly. They said they were here to meet you. What do you mean, we're here? They left. They left? Uh-huh. Well, I don't understand. They were coming here to buy some vineyard land from me north of town. Where the devil did they go? They probably went back to Mexico. They came in a couple days ago. Looked at the land, decided they didn't want it. Asked me to tell you about it. Well, I'll be... That doesn't make any sense. They sent me a $300 deposit. What'd they say about that? They understood it would be forfeited. Huh. That's a lot of money. Well, I wouldn't worry about it, Jared. After all, you did everything you could to hold up your side of the bargain. Well, I suppose you're right about that. Oh, by the way, how's your lovely wife, uh... Alicia? Fine. She's visiting her mother in Kiowa for a couple of days. Oh, we'll be sure and give her my regards. I'll do that. Well, it's good to see you, Jared. It's good to see you. If you get caught kicking any pigs before you leave town, give me a call. <laughs> Well, Sally, thanks to you, I guess my trip won't be a total waste. What time do we trip the Life Fantastic? Huh? The dance we were talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, I'll bet you're real good on the dance floor, too. But I think I'm going to have to beg off. Oh? Well, to tell you the truth, it, it's been a long, hard day, and I'm kind of tired. That happened kind of suddenly, didn't it? Well, uh, I've been on my feet since 6 o'clock this morning. I, I, I guess it just came over me all of a sudden. I'll get the rest of your supper. Good evening. You mind if I walk you home? I'd like to talk to you. About what? Well, for one thing, the Mendoza brothers. Who are the Mendoza brothers? Oh, you don't know them? Why would I? No reason, I guess. Tell me something. Why didn't you change your mind so suddenly about that dance? I told you I was tired. Seems to me you didn't get tired until George Akers came over to the table. What did he have to do with it? Well, I don't exactly know. It's just that I've been getting kind of strange reactions from people around here every time I mention the Mendoza brothers. I don't know what you mean. I don't exactly know either. I was hoping maybe you could help. You're a nice man, Mr. Barclay. I appreciate you walking me home. But I make it a point to keep out of other people's affairs. You ask too many questions, you usually get hurt. Sally, now that's usually a pretty good rule, but I... I follow it. Goodbye, Mr. Barclay. Oh, hello. 
Hello, Tom. I heard you were in town. I was wondering if you were going to drop by. Well, I guess I would have gotten around to it sooner or later. Uh, how's your mom? Oh, fine, fine. Everybody's fine. Good, good. You know, uh, George Akers was saying that you were asking about those three brothers. Did you see him, Tom? Well, he rode in briefly, rode right out again. Just can't understand why they wouldn't at least send a telegraph. Let me know. Well, you know how the Mexicans are. No, how are they? Oh, well, what I mean is, uh, well, they probably got homesick. Decided to forget the whole thing. I wouldn't worry too much about it if I were you. Nice talking to you, Tom. You too, you too. Mr. Jarrett, I suppose you'll be leaving in the morning, huh? Well, I wouldn't bother you if I just hung around for a couple of days, would it, Tom? Why should it bother me? That's right. Why should it? Mr. Barclay. Yes, what is it? Dirk Sampson. How do you do? Just fine. Hey, wait a minute now. You better relax, Mr. Barclay, or you're going to end up with a hole in your head. That's a little better. And now that we have got your attention... What's this little meeting all about? Now, that's Sally. You see, Sally's my girl. And I don't appreciate the fact of uh, you walking her home the way you did. Uh, if she's your girl, she sure keeps it a secret. You hurt my feelings with that kind of talk, Mr. Barclay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I think the best thing is all around. Go home, Mr. Barclay. Go home first thing in the morning. And I'm sure with you out of the way why me and Sally, well, we would get along just fine. What do you think about that, Mr. Barclay? Hmm? Well, I guess uh, he agrees, fellas, because he sure ain't arguing. Let him go. Remember, Barkley, you're leaving. First thing in the morning. <laughs> 